everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazleton and for today's video I plan to go over how to fill in your seven keywords for your notebook. I am going to go over notebooks today. This may vary depending on what kind of books you do but I've been mainly uploading no content and low content books and I've been watching lots of YouTube videos from people who are making a decent income in my opinion thousands of dollars a month and there seems to be two common ways that all of them do their keywords. So today I'm going to show you both. I can't guarantee either of those these are going to work, but definitely try them for yourself and see if you get better results with one or another. Personally, I haven't really found a difference between both of them yet, but I just started using both methods together. So if I get any data on that and realize one is better than the other, then I plan to let you guys know. So let's get started. So this is where you enter your keywords when you're publishing your book. It's on the first page, almost all the way to the bottom, and it says that this is optional. However, I think this is very important because your keywords are how people are going to find your book. They also find your book by the title, author name, and categories, but keywords, I think, are very important. So I highly recommend filling these out in whichever way you see fit and think will be the best for you and the book that you're trying to publish. Make sure that your keywords are related to your book because Amazon will not like it if you posted a llama notebook and you added a keyword of a dinosaur trampoline because those are not related at all and Amazon will not like that um, and you may get in trouble. So definitely make sure your keywords are related to your actual book. So I'm just going to go to Amazon and use a random example. So let's stick with the llama notebook idea. Just search it in at the top. And I think we should go with this alpaca llama floral cactus notebook here. And this is not my notebook. I have no idea who made it. I'm not promoting it or anything like that. I just like the cover and I think it'll be a great example. So this llama notebook is ranking very well. Just an added note. They're under a million. So I think they're doing pretty good. Um... But anyways, so let's get to their keywords. So in their title, they added a bunch of their own keywords. Um, a lot more in their title than I normally would put in mine, but everybody has their own method and what they think is best, so that's totally fine. So for the first way to use your keywords, you're going to want to go to the search bar on Amazon at the top of the page. So we'll use this page. And you're going to want to download this extension here, the AMZ Suggestion Expander. This is free to download on Chrome. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can click it right there if you have Chrome available. And it will look like this when you go to download it. It fit pretty much when you type in keywords or anything at the top of your Amazon page. It will show up other keywords to use. And if it auto-populates, that's a good sign because that means people are actively searching these terms. You don't want to have a keyword that people aren't searching because then what's the point? If you put it in there and nobody searches it, then it does not help you. So I'm just going to give this a minute to load. It's running a little bit slow today. So let's look at Llama Notebook Journal. And you want to look at the number of results in the top left hand corner. So this only has 1000 results. So that's good. You want to have under 1000 if possible. So I would just copy and paste this into my keywords area here. And I would keep doing this until I got all the way up to seven. I'm not going to go the entire way, but I just want to show you guys a few different ways. So or a few different search results. So you get the idea. So let's look at llama notebooks for girls. This has 40,000, so I would not recommend using this as a search term. Obviously, if you go through your search terms and you can't find any lower, then feel free to use them. But if that is the case, then you may want to find a niche that has less competition, but that is totally up to you. Uh, the less competition and results that show up, then usually the more likely you are to have a sale. So you could also look up something like Cactus Notebook. Eight and a half by 11 because if you remember what our notebook looked like it has these cacti on it and it's purple it looks like they added floral in the description so you could also look up floral notebooks so cactus notebook eight and a half by 11 has 10,000 results so I'm not really 
too thrilled on that one. It's not horrible, but it's really not great. Um, let's look at Cactus Notebooks for Girls. 1,000 results, perfect. So I would copy and paste this. Not, not the entire page there. Goodness. So I would just copy and paste this into my keywords here and you would just keep going down the line. So that is one way to do your keywords. I hope that made sense. I know this is going to be a very brief overview of both of them, but I really hope that this is helpful. So the second way that you could possibly do your keyword search is you're going to want to Google Amazon Keyword Organizer tool. I'm sure there are other tools out there, but I find this one to be very helpful and simple to use. So what you do is you enter your full list of keywords into this box and separate them by commas. And then it will you hit the organized keywords and it will auto populate them below for you to just copy and paste. So again, we're going to be using this book here, the purple llamas with the cacti, and I'm just going to start typing in keywords. So let's do notebook, journal, uh, 110 pages, college ruled, alpaca, llama, purple, floral, um, let's see what else, we got cactus, we have school, um, I think in the description they did um, professional students, teachers, writers, so I'll do professionals, students, teachers, writers, this should be a present, gift, um, and you just want to keep going. The great thing about this is it will eliminate your duplicate words because if your word is already in there, then you don't need to write it again. Um, and your title and author name are also used for search terms, so that is up to you if you want to repeat them. This is definitely different than the method I just showed you because obviously you do repeat words. So again, figure out which word's best for you and experiment and just do whatever you think is going to be most successful for your business. So I'll just add another keyword here. We'll do eight and a half by 11. Not just to give you an idea. So I'll hit organize keywords right here and then I'll scroll down and it auto populates it to give you the most out of the space that you have. So you are limited to the amount of characters you can put into a keyword box and you want to fill it up all the way using this keyword research method. So you want to keep adding words until you have as close to zero characters left as possible. So as you can see, what I put in there only gave me three boxes and this box has seven left and this one has three left. So I definitely have room to add more. These four boxes here aren't even filled in. So you would want to add more keywords until they are all filled in if you can, but don't forget to make sure you don't add random keywords because if you just add words, like I said, like dinosaur, trampoline, things like that. Amazon may catch on, you may get in trouble. So make sure that it is related to your book in some way. And I just realized I put 85, we'll do 8.5. <laughs> Sorry about that, I apologize uh, for that mistake there, but that's okay, we're all human. Um, so I think that this way is a bit easier to do because you don't have to search and search and search until you find ways or find different keywords that have under a thousand or under two thousand, whatever you're comfortable with. This way you're kind of just thinking on your own, what product do I have? Who am I selling to? Um, and what niches are this in? And what occasions are this for? You're kind of just asking yourself questions and then writing them down. So I think this way is a bit more efficient and easier to do. However, I think they're both amazing methods. I haven't really seen a difference between using either of them yet. So if you have personal experience you'd like to share, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, suggestions, other videos and tutorials you would like, or if you want me to go into more detail on either of these, please comment below and let me know. I'm definitely open to have some feedback. I hope this was helpful and gives you a better idea on how to fill in your keywords. I know that can be very confusing at first. I definitely did not do my keywords right in the beginning and I hope I'm doing them right now but as I said before I'm still relatively new to KDP but I am learning as I go so I hope this is helpful please don't forget to like comment and subscribe
I just want to add that they do have these really awesome copy boxes so you don't have to retype it all and you can simply just paste them into the keyword bars. So that is definitely very helpful to have. I highly, highly recommend it. And you just go down the line and fill them all in until every single keyword box is filled in. At least that is what I personally recommend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I really appreciate you coming to my channel, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.